All right, guys, so we're going to go through our vocabulary for the week. So we are going to be reading, reading Renita, the Frog Princess. It is a play. Um, so we will be going through drama, um, vocab, but this is just going to be our regular vocabs for the week. And then we will go through some context clues to kind of show you guys how they might be used in a sentence. So here we go. So you are going to repeat after me. I know that I can't hear you, but I really hope that you do. Annoyed. Attitude, commotion, cranky, familiar, frustrated, selfish, specialty. So I hope you repeated all of those words after me. Okay, so our first one means to feel bothered or irritated. That word is annoyed. Um, so describe a time when you felt annoyed. I know um, when I, everybody feels annoyed at one point or another. Um, it could be with you're annoyed um, if you're not understanding something. You're annoyed with your brother and sister. You're annoyed with um, a dog barking outside. Just times when you are not um, feeling happy about the situation that you're in. So kind of try to come up with a time that you might have felt annoyed. Our next word means a way of thinking, acting, or feeling. That is your attitude. So you might think attitude is a uh, as negative. If somebody tells you you're having an attitude, that might not always mean a good thing. But the word attitude is just a general word for saying how you are thinking, acting, or feeling. So you can have a good attitude about something. Like if you're positive, you have a good attitude about it. Um, if you're negative, that means you might have a bad attitude about it. So what do you think it means when someone has a good attitude? We kind of just walked through that. So that could mean that they're positive. That could mean that they have a growth mindset. Um, that can mean that they are always looking at the good in situations rather than focusing on the bad. Our next word is a noisy disturbance. That is a commotion. Um, so commotions, you usually think like a lot of stuff going on at once and it's really loud and it might be annoying. Um, using another vocab word there. But when we think commotion, we think a loud disturbance. So would a commotion likely be noisy or quiet? We kind of just talked about this. So commotion is loud. It means it takes your attention away from something else. Um, it's not like some uh, like somebody talking quietly in the corner. A commotion would be somebody having a big conversation and like maybe there's music playing and all sorts of things. So a lot of things going on at once that might distract you. Our next word is a person who is in a grouchy or a bad mood. That means they are cranky. Um, so everybody also can get cranky at times. I know I get cranky if I don't get enough sleep or if I'm hungry. Um, I'm sure you guys all know the word hangry. You know, that might be misreader sometimes. Um, but if you are not in a good mood, someone might say that you are cranky. Why might a baby act cranky? So why? what are some things that babies might be upset over? Babies can't talk to us, so usually they cry. Um, it could be that they're hungry. It could mean that they need their diaper changed. It could mean that they're tired. Um, it's their way of kind of telling us what they need because they can't really talk. So they might be a little cranky. The next word means a well or well known because you've seen it or heard it before. That is when something is familiar. So you're familiar with what your school bus driver looks like. You're familiar with where you sit at lunch. It's something that you do often that you kind of get in the routine of doing. So if something is familiar, you've done it before. It's something that is not new to you. Why would it be easier? Um, to use familiar technology. So if you're an iPhone user, say you have an iPhone um, and somebody gave you another iPhone to take a picture on, it would probably be easier than if maybe they gave you an Android. I know sometimes if my friends would give me their phone and they don't have an iPhone, I don't really know how to use it because I'm not familiar with it. It's not something that I use every day. I use my iPhone every day. Um, so using familiar technology um, makes it easier on us because we have experienced it before. Next word means to feel disappointed by being kept from doing something. So this means frustrated. Um, so we've got a lot of feeling words this, um, this go around. So if you're feeling frustrated, you might feel upset. 
um, because you can't get something done. If you're feeling frustrated with your homework, I know that a lot of you have felt that um, with remote learning. You might be frustrated with remote learning. I totally understand. I feel that. Um, but if you're frustrated, it means you're feeling disappointed or upset because you can't do something. Um, so explain how someone who feels frustrated feels. They might feel like they just can't do anything else. They can't go on with what they're doing. They want to give up. Um, I've definitely felt that way but with things before. Um, but remember to always uh, have that growth mindset and tell yourself that you can do it. Try to maybe think of new ways to do something. If one way was isn't working, try to think of another way. People who only care about themselves, you would call them selfish. Um, so when you think selfish, they only care about themselves. That word self is in the word. It just means that they only care about what uh, works for them, not what uh, works for other people. So how can being selfish cause a problem? I have known this to happen a lot. So this is something that you guys will definitely experience in your life if you haven't already. With Some people are selfish. Some people just only worry about themselves. Um, and it can cause issues if you are working in groups or if you um, are having to do things for certain people because it's always best to think about those around you and think about um, what they're going through. So it's not, I know we can all be selfish at times, but that is something that you want to strive to not to be. And then our next word is something that someone does that per, uh, particularly well or gives special attention to. That means it's their specialty. So you can see there's a doctor and looks like a baker here. So a doctor, this doctor's specialty might be um, bones, meaning they're an orthopedic so surgeon or orthopedic doctor, which means they specialize with bones. So they went to school to become a doctor, but then they studied harder and more about bones so that that could be their specialty. Um, if you think about like baking or being a cook, um, some cooks, if they're bakers, that means they specialize in baking. So things that go in the oven like bread or desserts. Um, if a cook is a pastry chef, that means they specialize in pastries. So something that you, um, do particularly well or you give extra attention to. If you could do one thing better than anyone else, what would your specialty be? Um, I, I'm trying to think, I that's a good question. So I want you guys to try to come up with that and maybe um, comment on our on this assignment here and tell uh, tell me or your teacher what your one specialty would be. Okay, so we're going to use context clues to try to figure out our vocab words in a sentence. The chef called his tilapia his blank dish. Um, so when we're trying to figure out what word goes there, think about everything that I just explained. So it, he's calling his tilapia his what dish? His annoyed dish? That wasn't, wouldn't work. His attitude dish? Probably not. His commotion dish? Does it make a lot of noise? I don't know, maybe. His cranky dish, does he only make that when he's cranky? His familiar dish, that could be it. Maybe um, if he has been um, making that a lot. His frustrated dish, probably not his frustrated dish. His selfish dish or his specialty dish. I would say that specialty works best um, because like we were talking, chefs and cooks have special things that they make best. So... I would say specialty goes there. Ryan gets blank when his favorite football team loses. So when you get something that you don't want, um, I would say there could be a couple words that would actually fall into this. Um, I would say maybe annoyed. He could get annoyed when his favorite football team loses because that just can get kind of annoying if you're that would make you not happy. He could get cranky when his football team loses, he could also get frustrated. So I would say any of those three words. Farah felt blank for keeping all the crayons, so she decided to share. If you keep everything to yourself, what does that mean you are? It means you're selfish, so selfish would go there. The bus driver was blank when the students were late getting to the bus stop. Um, this is another word that, or another one that could be maybe one or two of these. So I would say either annoyed or frustrated. Um, if somebody's not doing something that they're supposed to be doing, that would be kind of annoying or kind of frustrating. 
Greg had a positive blank about his book report. What did I just say? Um, the way that you're feeling, the way that you're thinking. So this word that would go in here would be attitude. The loud blank distracted Mrs. Walker's class. Remember, I was talking about something loud that's distracting um, and takes your attention away. That would be commotion. Mrs. Wiggins was blank with how to use the active board, which is like a smart board. Um, if you are, uh, if you know how to use something really well because you've used it before, that would be familiar. So I think familiar would go in there. And Brooke was blank with her brother constantly asking her questions. I would say that annoyed would probably go best in here, which means that um, cranky and frustrated would probably go better in the other two. So Brooke was annoyed with her brother constantly asking questions. She wasn't mad at him, but just kind of had annoyance. So let's go through these words one more time. Annoyed, attitude, commotion, cranky, familiar, frustrated, selfish, and specialty. So you guys will use this video to help you with a couple of your assignments this week. Um, please come back and watch the video to kind of go through if you guys are having any questions. Have a good week.